world could you think that we're safer now than we were under President Trump when he was willing to put missiles into Syrian air bases with Russians on the base? What's going on here, sir? He didn't understand because he didn't understand fundamentally much of anything about international affairs. His decisions were not based on a coherent philosophy or a coherent policy. But we were safer. Uh, they but were, we were erratic. Safer. He, he kept, pulled. He, well, he kept world under leaders, Donald Trump. He, he kept pulled, world leaders. He, he signed their, a deal their with heels, the Taliban. Sir. He kept them on their back feet. He, they didn't no, know where he, he was didn't. coming from, and he that didn't. made us safer. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and Newsmax's Eric Bowling got into it with former National Security Advisor John Bolton, and it was like a fight between a barbecued pork rind and Captain Kangaroo on daytime trash TV. Bowling, the Newsmax Jack Loon, wanted to present to his viewers that the country was safer under Donald Trump, but Bolton shot down every false claim with the tenacity of a laughing crap magnet in a septic tank. Can you? He had President right. and Xi and he cut a deal with dinner. the Taliban he had to withdraw Xi from Afghanistan. Did that make us safer, Syria. Eric? When he bombed, no, you know what made us less safe? From Afghanistan, you know what made us less safe, safer, right. You know what made us less safe is when Biden pulled us out of Afghanistan. Thirteen Americans died, and now that was the Trump's deal. And now that the Taliban tells us back <laughs> off, don't kill Al Qaeda. That's right. When talking about Donald Trump and foreign affairs, John Bolton admitted that he, Donald, didn't understand it because he didn't understand much of anything about international affairs. His decisions were not based on a coherent philosophy or a coherent policy. To paraphrase, Donald Trump is a moron. Are you out of your mind, sir? Same thing they would have done under Donald mind? Trump. No. Oh, who, who cut the deal, Eric? Who cut who, the deal? Who delivered the deal? Donald Biden Trump cut the deal, the deal. No, no. No, Trump wanted to. Wanted what would Trump have done? He what would to Trump have done? Had he been there. reelected? Remember, sir. Let's be no, he did with not. He absolutely did not. He did. Eric, you don't know what you're talking about. This sent the Newsmax host into a fired-up frenzy to defend his banished orange hero. It was at this point that viewers should have been warned to buckle up their life preserver because the jackass jet ski was going full throttle over Denial's Fall into Dumbass Lake. He well, wanted no, everybody out. Line, he cut a deal to do Anyone exactly that. Anyone that disagrees with you, we don't know what we're talking about. Trump said leave 2,500 there until we have a smooth transition He did power. not. He... Look, he said that after he cut the deal. The deal cut us down to zero. That's what Trump wanted. He wanted everybody out. The no, record on that is completely over time, clear. Over time, Biden pulled them out well, with Americans no. still there. No. The best, Read the I deal, go. Eric. Have I you ever go. read the deal? Oh, stop. Yeah, stop yeah, I know you got to go it. before you're embarrassed even further. Bowling didn't want facts and wasn't in the mood for the truth either. The episode turned into a temper tantrum for the Newsmax host, and the grimy old Bolton was poking fun at him, making it worse in every turn. Bowling tried to puff up like a banny rooster, but ended up with egg in his face at the hands of the laughing Bolton. Embarrassment and humiliation were on the menu for the Newsmax host, but he kept going back for more. Bowling couldn't get enough of what John Bolton was serving, and it was a hilarious sight to see Eric Bowling fill up on all-you-can-eat smorgasbord of humiliation that Bolton was dishing out. We all wonder if Eric Bowling will have stomach issues from all the loose fiber that was sent his way during the Bolton interview. Bowling suffers from constipation of the mind and needs a good flushing, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.